you know, you know, it's not all about how how much retail is behind it, right? Uh, like this company is very different than GME and AMC, which which doesn't really have fundamentals, right? They're really uh, based going after based on the retail support, right? And their business model is not sustainable. A hundred percent agree. You know, AMC, AMC is an adept. Yeah. They're so in debt they'll <laughs> never come out of it. It's a the, yeah. the people that are in that now will never see a squeeze. It's not possible anymore. The debt the debt owners own them, almost like we were. Yeah, they, you're, you're yeah. not coming so, out. Yeah, so that's where I think you need to talk to your folks, your investor, and, and you know, look at from really you know product perspective, you know, revenue potential revenue, the partnership they're building, uh, the product lines that they're building from class one to all the way to class six. Oh, and then uh, Chacha, uh, the no, consumer you know, line. Chacha, no, um, don't mean to just you know, the guys that I work with, they do the due diligence. They would not have come. Yeah. They wouldn't have come into this unless they saw that it was an investment first. You see what I'm saying? They don't. Okay. They wouldn't. They, if, yep. if I said, "Oh, geez, look at AMC; it's going to squeeze," they would laugh at me. Look at WeWorks; they yep. would look at the debt. They would say it's not possible. Yep. And, and it's funny. Yep. They would have said that about Mullen, maybe eight months ago, with with the debt overhang on it, with the um, warrants. But as of the past two months, now it's game on to these type of people. Now the, these are like, like I said in a tweet, I'm a remora. These guys are the sharks. You know, you know, yep. these guys see. It's underlying value is the number one reason why they're investing. And then they see that West Christian's involved. They, you know, they see some, the data is off the chart on the naked short that could be in the stock. It, it, it doubles, yeah. it doubles the float. And that, and that has yeah. been seen. People say, oh God, that's on different stocks, GTII, F and GR. I argue that. I don't think so. You look at this, this is a whole different game. Highest volume trading stock in the NASDAQ. And that cross trade that happened at the close of 24 million shares, who yeah. who accumulated that all day long? Who won that stock below an 80 cent strike? Yeah. I mean, that's big money, whether it was a short covering or whether it was somebody going along. If it's somebody going along, it, that's why I said in a post day, it's going over a dollar shortly on Monday. If that was somebody going along yeah. on the stock. Yeah. So, yeah. So. You know, thank you for sharing those and, you know, keep on uh, enforcing uh, really the, you know, the potential, uh, the revenue that's, you know, going I to will, come I in. I will, I will. And, you know, I'll, I'll drop in on these space calls and, you know, I'm no expert on, you know, anything but what I do. And, you know, whether I, you know, work on a different company that's a fintech company or, or whatnot, or this happens to be the one that I've taken a huge passion in, so... I'll jump in where I can speak. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to go speak where I can't speak, Chacha. I'm going to leave that to you. Yeah. You're the expert here. Yeah, that's great. I mean, you know, 